News at 10. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Stella Daskalakis. Good Thursday evening, everybody. I'm Greg Lamont. The Veteran Affairs Healthcare System is working hard to revamp its image in the midst of a nationwide controversy. Here in Montana, the VA is holding a series of town hall meetings. During those sessions, veterans are encouraged to come out and voice any and all concerns. Color 8's Cornelius Hawker attended tonight's town hall meeting in Billings and tells us what happened. Knowing someone there is there to listen. After tonight's town hall meeting, veterans might not have walked away with all the answers they were looking for, but they walked away knowing their questions and problems with the VA system aren't falling on deaf ears. When a veteran has questions or concerns, I bring those issues to the administration. Um, I discuss those concerns, I look for trends, um, get that information back, the feedback. But it, sometimes it's nice for the veterans to be able to talk with leadership about their concerns, to know that their voices are being heard. And voice their concerns they did. At the top of many veterans' complaint lists, long wait times to get access to care, which is happening because of centralization. All of consult tracking is centralized at the Fort Harrison location, so um, that does cause delays when a, a patient here, for example, has a consult put in, it goes to Fort Harrison to get processed. Plans to double the staff at Fort Harrison are in the works. The more staff you have, the quicker that you can process consults uh, uh, more timely, in a more timely manner. Carol Mick is an Army veteran and was pleased with the town hall meeting. However, she wants something else to change. I think the community has got to be um, uh, realize that this is a, something that needs to be supported. I, I challenge the medical community that it's not the old days where just um, retiring doctors or people, other doctors that couldn't get jobs and stuff. This is a, a, a happening situation. It's an opportunity to grow and to stretch in your um, in your uh, field. Future town hall meetings are in the works for sites throughout Montana. No dates have been finalized. I also reached out to Wyoming Veteran Affairs in Sheridan and they don't have any events planned in the near future. We'll let you know when either organization plans another meeting. Thank you very much, Cornelius. Montana VA officials confirmed by January 1st, 2015, all 9 million vets across the country will receive a Veterans Choice Card. It will help buy care from non-VA care providers for veterans if they face long waits defined as more than 30 days or if they live more than 40 miles from VA care. The $10 billion Veterans Choice Fund is expected to last over the next three years. During that time, lawmakers hope to come up with a permanent solution to help our veterans.